In this video I'm showing how I fix a noisy AC adapter for an Xbox One. I have my Xbox configured with the instant on setting so that it's in kind of a low power mode and it boots up faster when I want to play it. And one day I came home and this AC adapter was making this horrible grinding noise. I found online that this is a pretty common issue and a lot of the suggestions for fixing it were kind of ridiculous such as making sure that the AC adapter is plugged directly into the wall instead of into a power strip. Nonetheless, I tried some of those things and none of them seemed to fix it. So I decided to go ahead and take it apart. Normally it has some rubber bumpers here, but I have already removed those and I didn't put them back in because they don't really do anything. So I'm taking it apart again for the second time here actually. So if it's your first time tearing it down, you'll have the bumpers here that you have to pry out. And before I go any further with this, I'd like to actually pause for a minute and give the generic YouTube warning that this is an electrical component and electricity is dangerous. How would you like to die today, motherfucker? So if you're not familiar with electronics or electricity or you're just not comfortable with it, then it's easier to probably just buy a replacement. Anyhow, now that that's out of the way, this thing has a set of special screws on it. They're security screws. So I had to buy a set of these from Home Depot. And you can see here this is a T10. So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up now. I'll show a clip of the first video whenever I took this apart, but the noise is actually caused by the fan right here. So if you're having the same issue, it's probably also being caused by the fan. I'm going to show how I took that out. So you just take out those two little screws and then the fan slides out here. And the fan is held into the shroud by these two screws here so I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out. Alright, so that's all there is to the fan, and if you actually search this part number here, you can find these on eBay for about $10 or so, but a new power supply is only about 20 bucks if you get one of the knockoff Chinesium brands, or 60 bucks if you go with the OEM Xbox one, so, I don't know, buying a fan versus just buying another power supply, I'd say just get the power supply, but luckily I was able to fix this one, so I'm going to show how I did that. So this is all there is to the fan. Um, mine's actually really clean because I thought it was just dust, so I took some compressed air and blew it out first. But whenever I put it back together, it didn't fix it. It just kept making the noise. So what actually seemed to fix it is I popped this part off here. And you'll see there's some white gunk and stuff in there. That's actually some grease that I bought from Home Depot. And after I put that in there, it seemed to stop making the noise. And just for the heck of it, I'll go ahead and wipe this grease off and then reapply it just to show the steps that I took that fixed it. This is the grease I got from Home Depot. It wasn't very expensive, it's only $8 or so. We only need a little dab, so this huge tube is kind of overkill, but it's probably kind of handy to have some around anyways. So what I did here was just squirt some of it out onto a paper towel. Then I just took the back of one of my little screwdriver attachments and got some on it and just kind of painted it on to the middle part of this fan here and that's basically all there is to it I went ahead and just put the fan back together and tried to work the grease into the hole a little bit and then just go ahead and put it back together Alright, so I got it back together. Let's go ahead and plug it in and make sure I didn't break it again. The saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but that never made for very good YouTube videos. Alright, so I have the other end plugged into the Xbox. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the power now. 
And a little white light came on. Hit the power button. All right, so far so good. At this point, it was already making the grinding sound before, so I think we're still fixed. The first time I put the grease on the fan was about three days ago, and since then I've ran a few dozen games of Rocket League through it, and the noise hasn't returned, so I think it's safe to call it fixed. I'm going to procrastinate a week or so before I post this video, just in case this didn't fix it and the problem returns. But based on what I've seen so far, it seems like this is a fix, and putting a small dab of grease on the fan keeps it from rattling around and making that noise. So that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for viewing.